was a 19 yard run. I was using the Titans, you was using the Rams. You know, I'll even give you one touchdown, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, just don't, even I don't understand how, the, how you guys can just have two complete different versions of what happened. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, because if somebody wins a game, somebody wins a you game. You know what hurts the most is that my hero, the man that I looked up to, I, I, I tried to pattern his style. Really? He is telling a, a bold face. But, you, but you would never, Eddie, you would never put on that ugly horseshoe neck roll. Oh, you made it look good. You made it look good. I but the horse and that crazy mouthpiece. I, I wore it when I was in the league. Okay. Every time, now wear the face mask. Yeah, I wore the face mask. But, but Eric, did you ever look at yourself in the mirror? and say, why am I wearing this horseshoe neck roll? You know what, because I made it look good. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I stretched it out. It, 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 you would have made Mickey Mouse's outfit look good the way you ran. Uh, 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 still, you guys want to play running back. Even Alan Iverson, man, I'm not playing running back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, you tell Eddie what to expect when he goes into King. What's going to happen? Well, what's going to happen to Eddie when he rolls into the Hall of Fame? Well, what's he going to be like? Who should he represent? I mean, what was it like for you? Well, I mean, it depends on, you know, who he's close friend you know, that represent him. But, I mean, it's, it's nothing like it. Experience that I've ever had, you know, even playing football, mm -hmm. even like it because. But the big thing was is that, you know, you, as a player, you go to so many different venues and so many different places, people booing you, you know, boo, you know, you yeah. suck, yeah. that. But for that one day, everybody just loves you. I mean, that one day, the parade, you have 100,000 screaming fans. Wow. I mean, and when you get up there to give your speech and you know, you your mom, your, your wife, if you have a wife, your kids, you cry? and your coach, you know, I didn't cry. No, that's, you were those glasses would be hard to tell if you did. I mean, you could be lying. No, I, 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 I cried. I just broke out. <laughs> that's for people in Ohio and Kent. There might be some Ohio State fans. Yeah, there might be some. This is a few, you know, not, not too many. Maybe 100,000 or so. I'll be more than 100,000. <laughs> now, you had Jackie Slater induct you. Jackie Slater, Jackie won the world Slater, one of the great one of the great dudes in, in LA that we all love and one of the great old linemen of all time. What made you come to that decision? Uh, because I, I played with Jackie. I think the main thing is that my respect factor for Jackie. He knew me very well when he played. That's the that's the kind of guy that person that you want to to really introduce you. Someone who knows you not just as a football player, but as a as a, as a person. Was there a lot of pressure to put together the best Hall of Fame speech you could? Because, you know, that you're supposed to give you goosebumps and maybe cause us to shed a tear. Oh, my God. You know, that, that's the, that's the hard, that was the hard part for me. But I'm going to tell you, I did. You know, first I was a speechwriter. I'm like, man. Then I sit down, like, like the week before, I was trying to write stuff out. So all I did was, I just took a bullet man. I had like 15 or 20 bullet points. If I, if I looked down and I, and I saw Eddie George's name, I knew what I was to say about it. I had, uh, you know, uh, Jack Stafford, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. High school. You know, and it made it more personal. It made it more made, personal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so she yeah. knew, I, I knew exactly what I wanted to say about each person at the moment as a player. You know, even about the rankings, you know, you know and it, it, was just, it just kind of you know, laid out really easy. America's guest, Eddie George, and the greatest pro running back in LA history, Eric Dickerson, joining us right now on PMS. Now, Eddie, you were not too long off the field. I mean, it's what, it's been two years now? Three years? Three years now off the field. Now, when the season starts, we had Warren Sapp on earlier, and he looked crazy as always, but uh, <laughs> when, it comes, when it comes to this time of year, you uh, see everybody in camp, yeah. you see the preseason rolling out, you know you watch Hard Knocks on HBO, watch yeah, the Cowboys uh, doing their Cowboys, thing. Right. Do you get the itch? Do you feel like, because I know you, you were know that what? guy. You I mean, know what, uh, right around uh, late July, 6 o'clock in the evening, you know, the fresh cut grass. Mm -hmm. that, that's when you know it's football. Time. You know what I'm talking about, Eddie. The fresh cut grass. Unless you know. It's the smell. It's the smell. smell here. Yeah. It's the smell. It's hot. It's hot. I'm still smelling. Is it bad that it makes me nauseous? Throw up. I'm not quite, but I almost do sometimes. Now, Eddie, you were on the cover of a mat. Yeah. How big a deal was that for you? It was it was pretty big, you know. Uh, be the first player to uh, be on the cover besides John Bad was big back then. Um, it's never been done for that for me. And uh, to be in to be in 60 million homes, kids that, that love the game, that cherish the game, that huge fans of football, uh, was big. But now, you know, back then it was nothing like uh, bands and concerts and fans out. It was you know fly down to Orlando. 
play the video game, film you, go home. <laughs> you know, but it's it's a, a celebration right now. Now we got to ask, go back to college. We're talking about about it off the air a little bit. Ohio State, USC. We had Carson Palmer on. He had some interesting things to say. We'll about, get into uh, that. You know, we haven't addressed that because that went on vacation. Uh, no, I understand about, we're playing some community college out there. <laughs> oh. I, 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 I keep hearing LACC. Uh, okay. Pierce College. Yeah. Now you will be in the Coliseum. There's no question you'll be in the Coliseum. Oh, of course I'll be there. Now I, I think I have that week off again, so I'll work yeah, locally yeah, wherever yeah. I send that day. Uh-huh. And uh, you know, I, I really, and now you know me. You but you worked with me That's now. Right. You know that I'm not going to pick SC just to pick SC. Uh-huh. I really feel like SC is going to win that game in the college. Okay. Tell me why I'm wrong. Why are you wrong? Why am well, I wrong? One, uh, Beanie Wells. Okay, he's a good player. Very, very good player. He's a pretty good running back. He's no Eddie George. He's, a, he's, he's really, no Eddie George. He had a breakout game in a losing call last year. So. That's true. Okay, and he's coming back with a lot of confidence. Our returning defense is going to be underrated. Laronitis is great. Laronitis is pretty good. Our defense, our secondary sound. So therefore, when we come out there, we know how to play on the road, just not in bowl games. So I like our chances coming out against SC because Sanchez, I mean, he'll play Virginia the week before that. He's but he's hurt see, now. He's and he's hurt. Oh, he didn't need He's out for two weeks. So that, 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 that tells me that all the pressure's going to be on whoever the running back is. And I don't think he's going to have seen the speed and the, the, the tenacity out of the Big Ten defense that he's going to see. Show some love to LA, EB. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so he was that's SMU. Oh, who is that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All I can say is when Texas beat uh, SC, I'm not even a Texas fan. I was so happy to see every SC fan. Wow. Well, what's it like? You know, I mean, you're an alumnus of SMU. You finally, maybe a bit of good news with June Jones. Wasn't that good news for you? I mean, yeah, it was fantastic news. I mean, seriously, it was fantastic news. Because uh, June had called me and asked me, this was before you know, the hiring, he called me and said, hey, Eric, uh, Nah, I've known him for, for a long time. He says, uh, I want to cut any connections down to Dallas. He says, I'm going to be out there talking to AD. He said, uh, I might be interested in doing a good job. I said, really? Because I thought about it. Mm-hmm. Because I talked to AD, I thought about it. And I said, well, you know, I'll make a call for you right now. I'll get back with you. And I called AD. He said, if you very much interested, and that's kind of how you can borrow it. Now, Eric Dickerson's here. Eddie George is here. Two of the great running backs of all time in the NFL. A Hall of Famer and a future Hall of Famer. Now, both of you guys are similar in this way. Obviously, there's some differences in your game and the horseshoe neck roll, of course. But <laughs> both of you upright runners. Both of you guys were upright runners that had long careers. Now, upright runners don't normally have long careers in the NFL because there's more space to hit. Well, I would just, I mean, I was an upright runner and I didn't last. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm six feet tall. I'm 5'11 well, now because they knocked me down the size. But I don't understand. Upright you ran I, tall. You didn't run like a little back, bowling ball. Every running back runs tall. If you 5'11", you want to run to tall. Right. No. Six, three, six, when, four, er, when, Eric, when Eric put down his arm, when he put down his arm, he'd go. And same with you. you and you guys, were, you guys were tall runners. I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell you why you're wrong. Because he's right. Every guy's going to run to their statue. When you said upright, only time that I would expose, say, my chest, when I was in open field, it's like, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I didn't see your chest a lot of Andy. Other than that, it was like you almost come in, not in a, in a crouching position. Yeah. You know, in a crouching position. It's like, a ready position. Yeah, that's, that's what it's like, a ready position. Then also, you see the daylight, then all of a sudden it's like, bang. Here we go. But see, people expect us to run low. Oh, right. right. Like, like, run that's low. what I'm that's saying. This is crazy. Barry no. Sanders was, what, 5'9", but he didn't run low. Oh. He, he was already low to the ground. Because <laughs> it, it, it wasn't typical for him. He was a big target. He was a big target. Well, yeah, how did you last being a big I mean, you, when I first saw you play, I said, jeez, the guy's tall. And just, just like you know, like, like, like a, like a monster going through a city, knocking down buildings. I mean, that's what it looked like. I was a young guy. Now, how did you blast? I mean, how do you, how are you cognizant? More will and desire. That's it. You never go through a whole season. Or three. Right. Or not like the, yeah, I ran for 2,000 yards. I mean, I didn't think I was going to last because I had bad so I thought I was going to be out for the whole season. I played the whole season. Good God. You did that with a bad toe? Bad toe. Well, it's, uh, the toe is you never played hurt toe. Yeah, you never oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We hear that all the time about guys that have hurt toe. And they say, look, Woo! they say it's a toe injury. It's yeah, the worst it's injury. As a matter of fact, I remember this. He was, he was working at ABC Monday night game. He pulled me to the side. He knew I had a toe injury. 
and he told me about this brace that I needed to put on. I put on that brace, it felt okay. <laughs> it's still good to help out. But the toe is everything. It's balance, it's reverse, it's, it's everything for a running back for any position. You know what they should do? They should rename the injury then. You know, death of the foot, something along those lines, so people know it's more significant than a toe. Yeah, it doesn't sound that bad, I'm telling you. The if you just barely run your finger oh, it's like somebody dropped an anvil on your foot. Oh my god! I told you to do that. I just touched it. I dropped the golf ball on my toe. <laughs> Last year I dropped golf on my toe. Oh, I had to get the ground. I was on my knees. Like, oh. <laughs> two of the all-time greats and two of the all-time great guys. Of course, everybody can see ED, KCBS, with Steve Hartman, and oh, brother Jim Hill putting it down on Sports Central, and Eddie George still doing a pro football preview on FSN. Both wonderful guys. When you go into the Hall of Fame, just promise us, Eddie. No Jake Laser doing the intro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the skin tight Ed Hardy? Come on, you can't go, come on. You guys are great. Thank you very much for coming and join Matt Thank you so much.